Hey guys, welcome to Allie and Coco's Science Show. Where is she? Hey, welcome to Allie and Coco's Science Show. Um, it's been a minute. I have been working on a thesis. I'm almost done. Um, but last week I did film a couple videos. And the first one, this video, is uh, I took Lila and Nora on some fun adventures. And so Nora is gonna give you some cold-blooded facts about cold-blooded animals. So, uh, here we go. So this is the California king snake. This is, and it can eat mice, rats, and it can also eat venomous snakes like rattlesnakes or something that can kill you. So you want them in your backyard, but if you think it's gross, you didn't hear it from me. Oh snap, it's an alligator snapping turtle. And the alligator snapping turtle um, is called the alligator snap, is called the snapping turtle. There, there's a little piece of tongue, and if you thought it was a worm, then you would just, you would be just like fish. So the fish think it's a worm, so they go into the mouth and like, oh, I'll get some worm, and then Samuel and Kira goes. Um, so this is the emperor scorpion, and it is, it lives in Africa. Well, we're not in Africa, but if, if it was out in the wild, then it would live in Africa. And okay, so you would mostly see these scorpions in movies and not other scorpions because these don't really pinch or sting that much and if they did like they're not that venomous and another really cool fact is um that you if you hold up a black light then you can they kind of glow so you will get to see that did you know that these frogs are very bright colored because they're warning colors and they're saying like, um, I don't taste good, so don't eat me. And then if you eat them, they'll be like, well, I want you. And so, um, these are all poisonous right now because the ants, there's a special ant that they eat in the rainforest that makes them poisonous. So these don't eat them. Um, they're not fed, the ants are not fed to these frogs, so they're not poisonous right now, but if you see them in the wild, don't go near them because they will be poisonous there. This is the albino Burmese python. These are the six largest snakes in the world, and they get really big. And um, so if you, a lot of people have them as pets, and since they're really big, they're like they're starting, I guess, kind of medium size, like still big, and then they'll get ginormous. And the people don't know that they're gonna get ginormous. So when they get ginormous, they throw them out, and they end up in the Everglades. Then they'll eat all the endangered birds. And if you like birds, which I like birds, and like you have a favorite bird and it's endangered, and you have a Burmese python, and you it gets too big, and you just throw it out. Um, just know that maybe your favorite bird could be extinct because of it. And remember, if you have a pet or you want to get a pet, like I got a hedgehog and I had to do so much research for it, but you've got to do lots and lots of research before you get a pet because you could end up throwing it out and that cat could either be endangered, like if it's a dog, you throw it out on the street, then it could die. And if you get a bird with spike on and you throw it out, then you could end up in the Everglades and eating birds. So just make sure you do lots of research on the pet that you want and just make sure it's the pet that you want and the pet that you can take care of. Because if it's not, then, then you need to take care of it anyways if you get it and you don't do enough research. So, yeah. Coco, did you learn anything in that video? Because I sure learned a lot. Dude, I've been working hard, okay? I'm trying. I'm trying to do like 10 things at once. Okay, so we need a question of the week. So today's question of the week is, what's your favorite cold-blooded animal? So if you like a lot of animals, you can pick just frog, salamander, lizard, snake, anything. You can go very broad, or you can pick a very specific one like clownfish. So, my favorite cold-blooded animal is the chameleon. Coco, what about you? No, ice cubes aren't, that's not an animal. What else? Huh? What else? What else is it? What, what's your favorite cold-blooded animal? 
Okay. All right. So go ahead and comment down below what your favorite cold-blooded animal is. And if you learned anything new in this video or you just thought Nora was really cute and cool, give this video a thumbs up. And then if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, guys. We want to take you on fun adventures. So if you hit that subscribe button, you can go on some more with us. And if you do any social media, we got a Facebook page, we got a Twitter, and you can follow us on our Instagrams. I'm going to put those links down below, and we'll see you next week. Right, Coco? Cool.